What's up there guys, it's Mac, hope you guys are well. Today we are reviewing the, the Gully Kids uh, Route Air or Route Air is what they call it. It is a Bluetooth transmitter which allows two headphones working on aptx low latency providing that the headphones are low latency which these are um, on a nintendo switch as well as a ps4 and other sort of devices because they have the dongle that allows it to connect via usb to any other devices and it can transmit the sound and you can connect two headphones and i believe it's basically connected via low latency as well so this is the actual um details at the back you can pause that and have a look and um, let's quickly just do unboxing. So inside you get this nice little case. And inside here, you have the dongle itself. Now I've got to give props to the size of this dongle. It is so thin, it's crazy. Essentially, you just take it out here. That's just a case for it. But this is that your dongle itself. And you can see it's got A and B. So underneath Gully Kit it says APTX, um, SBC and LL. Um, SBC is like a, um, a slightly slower Bluetooth um, codec. APTX is a um, low latency one, but the LL is APTX low latency. That's the best one. That's the one that you want. And they have all of them laid out, which is really cool. So every time you connect to it, it works via USB-C. So it goes at the bottom of the switch. Um, pretty much like so at the bottom and it will use the type C headphone it will use the USB type C um, connection at the, at the bottom so as you can see there's no pass through so you can't charge it while it's connected but as it's connected you see how thin it pretty much is now I've got a little case on so you need to take your case off because without the case with the case it won't work and I've got like a dockable case at the moment which is like a little plastic thin case so that's essentially how it will sit on and you can then control two headphones you can connect you pair one headphone using the a and then you connect a uh, part using the second headphone using the b connection i'll have a picture up on the corner so you can see exactly why it looks like because it doesn't seem to be uh, focusing but essentially you can use a and b once you sync to one headphone you sync the second headphone after and then they both stay connected and it will tell you which um, which codec you're using so it will light up and um, in the box as well, you have the dongle, which essentially is just a USB two-way connector. So you can do it this way or this way. And you've got a Type-C at the end. So you just pop in the dongle here. And you can use that on your PS4 or your PC. And you can connect two headphones to it as well. Now, one thing I noticed is that this does not come with a he um, with a microphone, but I believe if you use a microphone, like the little USB microphones that you get, it will actually work because there are some packages that I saw that come with the microphone as well. So you can use that for Fortnite on your Nintendo Switch. Just plug the microphone in through your headphone jack. Now, bear in mind, I've tested this with um, my US uh, with my EPTX Low Latency headphones, both of head both of the headphones. Uh, these both ones, I've got a little adapter a bluetooth adapter that's aptx low latency which allows it to work um, in low latency mode uh, by b tunes um, if you haven't seen that video um, check out the video i've got a link over here um, check that video out where i go through how this connects to the switch um, using low latency um, using this uh, bluetooth transmitter by tron so that was the review i did on that one now i've actually compared the two and i found unfortunately even though this would have been a slightly more simpler connection and a lot tinier and allowing you to have two headphones rather than one even though i connected two headphones with low latency mode and the ll light actually came on to indicate that that was the case and it was connected and it wasn't disconnecting the actual um, lag that i noticed was like a half a millisecond slower on this and it was very noticeable to the point i thought it wasn't even a low latency connection it felt like it was slightly longer than a low latency one. So like a standard Bluetooth connection where you have lip sync or in, it doesn't sort of register the difference. Um, so it doesn't actually register the sound with the button press at the same time. I noticed the lag significantly on this one compared to uh, my trusted old and really good 
uh, Trond one, which is a transmitter and it actually works way better. And this just reaffirmed the fact that this is the, probably the one of the best ones out there uh, to use. This goes in via the headphone jack and it sits on top and you just use a micro USB cable and you can plug it into the bottom of your switch and you can charge it and use it at the same time so it never loses charge. Uh, this one doesn't have a USB pass through so you can't actually charge your switch when you're on the go. So sometimes if you're on the plane and you want to use your power bank, um, you won't be able to charge this if you're using this. So you won't be able to charge your switch. So that's a shame, you know, whereas this one, if you use this, you can actually charge your switch whilst uh, playing. So that's one of the downsides of that. The fact that um, it's so thin is really cool and it will work on your switch light because they took the prongs off. It's a very cheap adapter. It work, um, I think I bought it for like 10 or 11 pounds. If you go for the ones that are, um, I think this came shipped in from Shanghai or something. Actually, this one actually came from the UK, but you can get ones from Shanghai and stuff, which are a bit more cheaper, like 10, 11 pounds. I think I paid about 12, 13 pounds for this one because it was shipped from the UK. But um, I'm going to be returning it. So this is Gully Kit. I'm afraid the performance wasn't uh, to the standard that I wanted. Um, the reason why I'm getting this is for the low latency, so that if I hit something on, my switch I will hear it at the exact same time and the lag was just too significant um, I would say probably like a half a second to a second more and it was noticeable so it's just not good unfortunately it's a shame it would have been really cool to have this working uh, properly but that's a shame you know that's just how it is um, so yeah I will still recommend getting the Tron one that's probably the best one there and um, yeah that was my review of the gully kit uh, Root Air Bluetooth Audio USB trans, um, Transceiver um, Bluetooth Audio USB Transmitter uh, They do have a Pro version where it comes with a pass-through um, connector at the bottom so we can actually charge your switch as well but it's more like a pebble design and it sort of sits at the back if you wish with a USB sort of dongle or you can have it hanging at the bottom but it's quite bigger Whereas this one's very thin, it's like a 5mm one. So I really like the design of this one and it sits right at the bottom. But the fact that you can't charge your switch or um, it's not got the low latency that it needs um, is, is a complete no-brainer. I can't get this one, so I'm gonna have to return it. Anyway guys, that was my quick review of this device. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I really appreciate all my subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Until next time, take care guys, it's a Mac. Peace out. Do check out my other videos on the Bluetooth transmitters that I've done. I've done uh, plenty of videos. I'll provide the links over here as much as I can and you can have a click on those. But um, I think I found the best transmitter now and it's still the Tron one. So you can see my reviews of that and my re reviews of the Bluetooth headphones and uh, the way they work with my uh, switch of using aptx low latency and the multiple aptx low latency headphones that i have as well i've done a few videos on those so do check them all out if you want a bit more information on that